in the view here, you see some um, braided ropes. And I want to talk to you about um, face mask strands. Um, specifically, the other day I had posted a video that um, because of the rate of veteran suicide, that I had come up with a way to make a weaker rope. And I have, except it's not quite as weak as I wanted it to be. Um, and so elastic is still safer for veterans. But what it did, um, for something else, I, was, I had gone back to an old um, way of making things, and that's GIMP. And I'm going to put a video link um, in the information section that will give you a very good video on how to do the box stitch um, with GIMP. So whether you remember it from childhood or you'd like to try it, it's braiding or knotting or um, it's actually weaving with plastic narrow flat lace. But you can make um, all kinds of shapes and stuff with it. It's a typical camp or um, camp activity, but it, it's very um, relaxing. But I was doing that for something else, and this is um, alpaca that I had spun. So my plan for the weaker rope was to take alpaca, which is not a wool, it doesn't have crimp, it's very silky and slippery, and I was going to make a gimp type rope um, only with joining one length to the next so that if somebody put their body weight on this it would break at the joints. The only problem is I'm better at this than I wanted to be and it, it doesn't break. Um, possibly it would break um, if someone tried to hang a person's weight with it um, which is a horrible thing to even think of but that was my goal was to make a weaker rope. And you see like this is thinner here because of the gauge of my spinning. Um, so doing this would kind of be an art, um, whether you're making it for strength or for weakness. But that was the plan. So there is a way to use hand spun um, in GIMP method and make rope. So I'm going to be doing that anyway. I'm going to continue testing it. When I tried to break this, this is about um, 18 inches long. And I pulled on it to try and break it. And I actually um, have it on a keychain just so somewhere to put it. And um, the jump ring opened up and popped off the strand before the rope break. So, and it didn't break at all. Now, um, so these little s threads sticking out are um, at the places where I joined it. Now, another thing you'll run into if you do that, this particular spinning, see how the yarn had gotten very weak? And I knew if I pulled on it, the whole strand was going to break. So instead, I folded it over on itself and worked it into the stitch, and now that can just be trimmed off. Now the beauty of wool rope is you can throw it in the washer and it'll shrink and um, get tighter. Alpaca won't do that. That's why my weaker rope was with alpaca. So this is kind of still on the drawing board. Um, if you make any rope out of plastic, it's not going to fall apart. But it's difficult with all of these to work with long um, strands because you have them flipping around all over the place. It's not difficult, but it's you need some space to do it. But check out the GIMP video because there, this is a six strand. Um, today I had the first blossom on the pumpkin plants. So we're going to commemorate that with a pumpkin um, keychain, actually, which is the green of the plant, the yellow of the blossom, and eventually a pumpkin. Um, so check out the video because just with a few simple stitches um, and this ties in with um, using American products, spinning your own wool and being able to make anything you need um, with that. These, 
The vintage ones were made, the vintage GIMP material was made in the U.S. Now it's made in China. Um, and we're, we need to be more self-sufficient. It can be done. Um, I have a few tips on how I do it that I might put in another video, but it's worth exploring for yourself if you spin your own yarn and you want to um, have more or less an unlimited supply of GIMP. Um, it's not all, GIMP itself isn't all that expensive. The brand most commonly um, seen is called Rex, <coughs> excuse me, Rex Lace. You can look for uh, plastic lacing or Rex Lace to find the actual, um, what I'm calling GIMP. But then you can take that to your own designs using your hand spun. And possibly I'll continue to come up with a, a weaker rope. Um, I may make this one longer and um, hang like a rock from it or something outside and see how long it takes to break.